Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am building in new crest and this is on the 50 by 40 sized lot. So this is the largest lot in that world. And today I'm going to attempt to build a Hampton styled house. So I don't really know if I succeeded. I'm thinking maybe not really. This isn't a real typical Hampton looking house but I do think that this house would definitely fit in quite nicely in the Hamptons or at least I think it will fit in but either way this is called my Hampton house so if it's a Hampton, if it's a Hampton house not sure but this is how I see one um, so yeah so anyways this is a, a very large house and um, so I am going to cut up this part or this part this house built into two parts so today you will see part one of course with all the landscaping and the entire outside of the house and in part two I will be doing all of the furnishing so for the furnishing i'm not really sure yet what i'm going to do i do have the floor plan ready that's all set to go um so i what i did is i've made five bedrooms for the family downstairs there is one uh butler's bedroom so in total you have six bedrooms there will be a dining room uh, a living room kitchen and i was thinking on either a second living room for the family with the television and everything or maybe an inside pool with spa although I am going to add in a hot tub in the backyard so maybe it's stupid to make a spa section inside because yeah we have a hot tub and hop hop not a hop hop a hot tub and a pool on the outside so yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do there but if you guys have a suggestion on what the final room should be should, should I make uh, that uh, informal living room uh, with a really loungy feeling or go for more of a spa and relax on the inside and the room that I'm talking about is going to go on the very right side here um, where we have that little section cut out I'm going to add in very large windows um, and that's the only room uh, that I'm really indecisive about um, and also for the style of the house so a Hampton style is a uh, very classical uh, in real life um, but I don't really like furnishing uh, really classical uh, of course i do like furnishing with the vintage glamour stuff pack i really like that furniture but i don't know if that really looks nice in this house i was actually just thinking of making the interior uh, a bit more on the modern side um or actually kind of really modern so this is like a modern Hampton house so on the outside very traditional and on the inside um, maybe the Sims uh, did like a uh, renovation and made everything modern I'm not really sure on which style to go to so if you guys have an idea um, please let me know in the comment section below the video what kind of furnishing style you guys want to see uh, in the house uh, either modern or more on the traditional looking let me know in the comment section below the video um, so yeah here doing the pool so I have to say my favorite part of the entire house I know this before I start furnishing is going to be the backyard I love the backyard it's so really spacious and I love the shape so with the house wrapped around the, the, the backyard a little bit and of course I really like that I'm going to add in the um, basketball court so I haven't used the basketball court yet and I thought a Hampton house was perfect to place one in and when I'm using this basketball court I really do think that we can maybe make the interior uh, a bit more on the modern side because basketball courts is something from our time uh, of course so yeah 
I'm not sure yet <laughs> what I'm going to do there. But I really like the basketball court. Uh, and that is something that I think I am definitely going to go and add in more. Uh, maybe in a penthouse build. That would be very nice. Uh, playing basketball while looking over the skyline of the city or something like that. Um, that would be awesome. And, and of course I am going to be starting up the City Living series again. Uh, I just kept that a little bit on a hold because I was a little bit sick and tired of all the apartments um, but I've been missing the apartments again so I am going to start up um, renovating them again and maybe building some uh, penthouses uh, maybe a really modern one I, I know I did like a luxurious penthouse but I didn't do like a contemporary modern one so maybe I should do one of those i'm not sure i'm just brainstorming here i mean why not we have a lot of minutes still to fill in from the video and yeah maybe i'm still i'm going to start up with a penthouse this weekend uh but not sure of course oh and for the people who are waiting for the next um so are we going doing so i think we are doing selena gomez her house now if you are waiting for part three that is going up this weekend on a Sunday I am going to work on that Sunday morning and Sunday evening I'm going to upload that so that you guys can see that. I usually always reserve my Sundays for my celebrity builds because that's the only day that I have a day off uh, and that I can really focus because celebrity builds really tend to take up uh, a lot of time. It's a really a lot of precision work, um, looking at pictures and just trying to scale up everything right. Um, so yeah, that's why I do that always on my Sunday. And these builds uh, that I'm doing throughout the week, I usually do that when I come home from work. Before the children are out of school, I quickly build something. Um, or quickly, quickly for me, not so quickly for other simmers because my builds do take up longer than the, the normal simmer uh, well anyways I always try to complete them before the children get home and then I do my voiceovers at night um, so yeah uh, what am I doing here I forgot um, oh yeah the landscaping of the front yard so of course because this is more of a traditional looking house I am going to do a little bit more landscaping than I did with the modern houses I mean with a modern house or a contemporary house I don't really think uh, a front yard needs that many landscaping i mean the backyard you can do whatever you want and um, but for the front i always keep it a little bit more on the clean side for modern but for the traditional looking i really like to go a little bit all out not fully all out when i do like a mansion when i do a mansion i go all all out in the landscaping but for this uh, more traditional looking houses i, I try to keep it in the middle um, so of course some flowers some bushes will be added as you can see uh, and the wrap around uh, not really a wrap around porch but a little porch on the left side I'm going to add in some flowers surrounding that um, so yeah it's going to look very nice and I have to say I really like how that porch porch am i saying that correct looks i really love it um so the reason why i added in the porch on the left side is because it looked very empty and flat and i hate it when houses have like uh empty boring sides you know what i mean i always want to add in stuff to make it less boring and for me the porch made it less boring um so yeah here playing around with uh flowers that's what i'm doing here uh i don't know what i'm doing oh yeah so i wanted to add in a second row of flowers there and i think with a mansion it would look okay but for this house it looked very messy uh of course it was messy because my my circle wasn't circle um but it was just a little bit too much flower so i do go back to the fountain and I do delete the white flowers so the blue flowers surrounding the fountains are going to stay but the white ones are going to disappear again because it was just a little bit too much as you can see 
Uh, and I, e <laughs> I even wanted to add in more flowers, which was insane. So yeah, here I'm deleting it and making it look a little bit more tidy. I know my circle, circle isn't really as circle-ish, how do you say it, circular as it needs to be. But that's the best that I could do there. Um, so yeah, here, oh, I didn't know what I wanted to do with the walkway. So we have a lot of flowers on the left, a lot on the right. And at first I was like, let's do flowers on the side. But it looked like too much flowers, you know? It was just an overkill of flowers. So in the end, I just go with these hedges and make it a little bit more simple. So the entryway is very simple, but the sides is more uh, elaborate. And of course the uh, driveway for the garage, there is a little tiny garage there. And I am going to add in a car in the garage, like someone suggested. Um, I think it was on my, uh, I think, which build was it again? Um, I think it was the modern house that I did in uh, Oasis Springs. I did a garage on that as well. And someone suggested that I should uh, skill up a toy car. I have done that before, but I forgotten about it. And I, I don't really like the, how that looks. Um, but doing it inside the garage, that's okay for me. Outside the house, I don't know maybe <laughs> but for in the garage that's fine and then the garage have, has a little bit of purpose um so yeah you are almost finished with uh this part of the build so we are going to do some lighting and then uh adding in some little more detail on the sides and that's it for this part so i hope that you guys enjoyed this quick little video of mine um if you did don't forget to leave a like likes are very important and so much appreciated and if this is the first video that you guys are going to see from me and you liked it don't forget to subscribe that you will never ever miss a video of mine so yeah i hope that you guys have a great great day wherever you are and i will see you in the next one bye bye Thank <laughs> you.